Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Samantha font in Cricut Design Space. And we are talking about the real Samantha font, um, not the ones that you can get for free from um, Defont or Font Space or any other of those sites. Um, we're talking about the super expensive paid one. So if you go to Laura Worthington's site, you can see the Samantha font here, and it's $75. No one wants to do that. So I have a discount deal for you. Here at Creative Fabrica, you can get Samantha Craft for $17. Uh, notice that is marked down from $79. And I will put the link in the video description so that you can get to this. Uh, this is Samantha Craft. They do have also the Samantha Upright and the Samantha Italic. $17 as well, but I really want to show you this Samantha Craft because it's awesome. Okay, so it's the latest edition of the Samantha font family. It's ideal for crafters, blah, blah, blah. The thin strokes are much thicker, making it easier for those with a die cutting machine to cut or weed as it's not as delicate as the other versions. Amen. Okay. So the original version of this font was really, really skinny. So, you know, if you didn't thicken it with an offset, you risked ripping your letters when you were weeding your vinyl. Not the case with Samantha Craft. Samantha Craft has all of the extra characters, and let me show you. When I say all of the extra characters, <laughs> here we go. Look at this. They're all here, okay? And they're all thicker, so you can use adhesive vinyl for your projects, and you can weed these, and you don't have to worry about your letters ripping. It's amazing. Okay, so to get this, let me go back to the first screen there. Okay, so to get this font, you need to sign up for Creative Fabrica, but it's free. You can get a free account with Creative Fabrica and all they'll do is send you emails here and there with you know their new fonts and products and stuff like that but sign up for that and then just add this guy to your cart and I'm gonna walk you through this in a second but I do want to mention if you buy this font for the $17 you will get a one month trial subscription for free um, now the paid subscriptions to Creative Fabrica offer you things like unlimited font downloads of their, I don't know, 50 bazillion fonts. Look, script and handwritten. That's just the script and handwritten fonts, and we have 45,000 of them. And here are just a few if you want to take a look. So, with the Just Font subscription, you're going to get any of those fonts you want for free, with a commercial license, which means you can use them in any of your projects, period. Um, there's also subscriptions that will give you graphics like SVGs. There are um, subscriptions that, I, I don't know, there's just a ton of subscriptions. I have the all access subscription. So anything I want on Creative Fabrica, I get for free with just my one monthly payment. Anyway, though, Download this font, you'll get that for free. You can cancel it, you can keep it, it's whatever you want. Okay, so to download, you are gonna click this Add to Cart button, and you'll see it over here in your cart along with your free trial subscription. Um, this is the all access subscription. This gives you access to anything on Creative Fabrica, and if you keep it um, after your first free month, it's only $19, guys, I pay 29. For real, that's that's my cost. Okay, so proceed to checkout. You will check out. I'm not gonna do that because I already have this. But anyways, so you will check out and then you will download the font. Um, let me show you. Let me log in here. Um, let me just show you how you would download another font. Actually, I have one here in my favorites. I'm just gonna hop to it that I was planning on downloading anyways. So once you're logged in um, and you have purchased the font, you'll be able to see this download. You just click it 
and look, whoop, here it goes. It's going to go wherever you have assigned your downloads to go. Okay, so once you get it downloaded, you need to install it on your computer. So here I have it here. I'm going to drag this out of this folder so we can work with it on the desktop. Okay, it's going to be in a zip file. You need to open your zip file. If your computer doesn't automatically open them, you can buy um, an add-on that will unzip zip files for you. So inside the zip file, you're going to have an open type and a true type. Um, I mean, there's really not much difference between the two. The open type is a more modern um, type of file, so that's the one I always choose. You want to put that somewhere where you can access it easily. It has to be out of the zip folder, though, guys. You cannot install this if it's in the zip folder. You have to unzip and move it out. So here it is together, unzipped. Here is the actual OTF font file. To install it. Now I'm working on a Windows PC. This may be different if you have a different operating system, but for me. Right click, show more options, install for all users. Don't just install, install for all users. That means any program that you open on your computer will have access to this font file. It will work in Cricut. It will work in Adobe, it will work in Photoshop, it will work in Inkscape. Whatever program you have on your computer will be able to use this file if you install for all users. And there it is. So once you get the file, in, the file installed, then you open Cricut Design Space. If you open Cricut before you install this file, it won't work and you'll be like, what the heck happened? Okay, so here we are. We can start using this font. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to just hide this whole thing for right now so that um, you can see my screen and what all I'm going to work on. So, okay, I'm going to come to text. And I'm going to come up here. And it's going to show me, you know, all of these texts in Design Space. But if you just use your search and type in Sam, you will see Samantha font pull up. Click into that, and now your text box here will have Samantha font. So we've got this, Samantha. But it doesn't look, oops, that's not how you spell Samantha. There we go. But it doesn't look all fancy like it did in my example. Let me show you how you get all of that super, super fancy stuff. It's with a font manager. So, font managers, there's lots of them. There's free ones within Windows. There's um, free ones other places. I really like to use the free font manager from Creative Fabrica because it will store all of my fonts in this, um, in the cloud so that I can free some up off of my computer. And its functionality is a lot easier than um, the free one, the character map in your computer. So here I am over at Creative Fabrica, and I'll link to this as well. Come over here to Tools and open up Font Cloud. Open Font Cloud. And you'll see over here, you can install all of the fonts you want to browse your computer and put in, you know, the fonts that you want to put in here. So I have all of mine in a font folder. I'd come over here and I'd just, you know, import whatever fonts, but I already have them in here, so I don't need to do that. So these are all the fonts I have, but it also shows you all of them right up here from the beginning. So if I type Samantha, I can see what this is going to look like in every font that I have installed into font space. So that in and of itself is just flipping amazing. And it's one of the reasons that I love Font Cloud. But that is neither here nor there really for this tutorial. Let me find my Samantha font. Where is it? Sherlyn Samantha. Okay, so I clicked into that. Now I'm going to type my word here again. And you'll see all of these boxes, look at all these A's. 
And these are just the capital A's, and we're still going. There's still this many A's to choose from. Oh, what? Still going. This font is fabulous, and that is why it's worth every penny you're going to pay for it. But I don't want an A, I want an S. So I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll until I get to the S's. Let's see. I went past the S's. Here we go. Okay, what S do I want? And say this is a little too small for you to see, you can make this bigger. You just kind of click the little plus, and now it's all bigger. Okay, I think I used this guy for the example. So I clicked it, and it said that it copied it to my um, clipboard. So now I'm going to come up here to where I typed my word. I'm going to delete that first S, and I'm going to paste in the one that I just copied to my clipboard. So you saw that? I deleted the first S, and I clicked Control V, which is the quick command for paste. I could have also right-clicked and pasted that in as well. Okay, so there I got my S. Okay, what was the next thing I did? I think I got some fancy A's on there, so let me keep going down. I've got all the capital letters first. Once I get past them, I can get to my lowercase fancy letters. Okay, I'm not even sure which A I used. Let me pull this up so I can look at it again. Okay, there we go. So it was this one. So I copied it. See, character copied to the clipboard. All I had to do was click it. Come in here, delete, control V to paste. And then I also had one over here at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. While I'm here, let me go find it. Look at how many characters there are. Like this font is just truly amazing. I believe it was this one. So control V and there's that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I just need the N, I believe. Is that all I did there? Yep, just an N. So I had this fancy curly N. So I'm going to scroll down to the N's. Okay, here we are, and it was something like this guy. No, it was this guy here. So I copied it, backspace, and I'm gonna I'm gonna right click so you can see what happens when you right click and paste, and it just goes right in there. So there is everything that I did on Samantha. I got the fancy S and that A. I left these M and A just the way they were. I got a fancy N here, a TH, and a fancy A. So you can see these little X's are where I typed in the um, fancy characters. Is that really how this looks over here? Yep, that is what I did. Okay, so I've got all of it here. What I want you to do now is highlight this, this one up here, not down here. Come up here to where these little weird looking symbols are. Highlight all of that and copy it. You can right click and copy or you can do control C on your keyboard and it will copy it. Now, come over into um, Cricut Design Space. You've already typed your word in. You've already got it here. You've already got it in Samantha Upright, but you just need to add the fancy stuff. So. Double click into your text box that already has your word in the font you want. Those are important. You already have to have the word that you want. Well, you don't really have to have the word, but you already have to have this text box with the font that you want or this won't work. So I've double clicked in. I'm going to delete everything I've got and I'm going to paste. I hit control V to paste that in. I could have right clicked and paste as well, but there it is. This is now exactly the same as this one up here. Let me make both of these a little bit smaller so you can see them side by side. And that's all there is to it. Um, I did a little extra step up here to make this one fancier, but I mean, that's it's really just some extra stuff that is not anything to do with this video. So I now have my word here. And I need to weld all of this together. 
so that it cuts beautifully and you know one letter doesn't cut through the middle of another letter it's going to be all welded and beautiful and it's going to be thick enough and it's going to be perfect so let me just go over everything one more time really really quickly get into font cloud get into samantha upright or samantha craft is what you're going to have type in your word go find your pretty characters let me see, um, I'm just going to stick in a P here, I know this doesn't go, you click it, copy to your clipboard, come up here to your top and paste, and it types in whatever you want, copy everything that you've got once it's looking the way you want it, come into this, uh, Cricut Design Space, open your text box, make sure you're in Samantha, and paste it in. And that's all there is to it, guys. It is really, really that easy. So, a couple things you need. You're gonna need um, a Font Cloud subscription. It's free, you just give them your email and they send you emails with new products. But it's worth it because this, um, this font manager is so amazing. You're gonna need your coupon code to get the Samantha Craft for $17. Again, make sure you're getting Samantha Craft so that it, um, cuts thick enough and then you need Cricut Design Space and your imagination. Alright guys, we'll see you next time.